हेलो सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवन फिजिक्स चैप्टर मोशन लास्ट ईयर दिस क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन एन डी ए एग्जाम सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू रीड इट द डिसप्लेसमेंट वाई इन मीटर्स ऑफ अ बॉडी वेरीज विथ टाइम टी इन सेकेंड एज एन एक्सप्रेशन इज गिवन टू अर्स विच इज वाई इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री टी स्क्वेयर प्लस सिक्सटीन टी माइनस ट्वेल्व then the body uh, will come to rest in how many seconds we will have to find out uh, when is body going to come at rest it means the velocity should be zero at that instant fine so i'm giving you a while to think about this question you can pause the video and uh, you can just try okay if you have tried then leave the comment below okay so now let's solve this question first of all as you have seen that they have given us an expression and they have also given that y is the displacement and we know wait given is that y is the displacement okay and the expression is given to us now first thing which we have to do is find out what the velocity will be so how we are going to find out the velocity it is simple as we have seen in the chapter motion that we can find out velocity with the help of this formula that velocity is represented by v which is equals to the rate of change of displacement so i can write for small displacements i can write it like this dy by dt or in uh, this is also a mathematical expression where uh, we can say that it is the differentiation of y with respect to t so simply i am going to just put the value of y in this expression and then i am going to differentiate it with respect to t so instead of writing y i am going to write this whole expression now minus 2 by 3 t square plus 16 t minus 12 okay so let's differentiate it first of all minus 2 upon 3 it is a constant so it will come out and we are going to differentiate t square so i'm going to write minus 2 upon 3 as it is and the differentiation of t square is 2 into t fine now let's differentiate the second term so second term it has t raised to the power 1 so 16 will come as it is and the differentiation of t is 1 and the last term if we are going to differentiate last term it is a constant so the differentiation of constant is 0 so now let's solve this equation this expression so it is coming out to be minus 4 upon 3 t plus 16 and it is v now they have also told us that we have to find the time for which the body is coming to rest when body comes to rest we all know that we will have to put v that is velocity is equals to zero or our speed should be zero so for object at rest i am writing velocity is equals to 0 so left hand side i'll put 0 in this expression it will be minus 4 upon 3 t plus 16 so it will be i'm just going to solve this expression so it is 4 upon 3 t is equals to 16 so it will be t is equals to 16 into 3 divided by Four, so four four is a sixteen. It is coming out to be twelve seconds. So you can say that time after twelve seconds, after twelve seconds, uh, the body is going to come to the rest. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood this question, and I, if you have understood this, then please leave a comment. Thank you.